Welcome to my first video on recurrence relations. In this video I'm going to briefly explain what a recurrence relation is and some of our techniques for solving them. So I'm assuming you have, you already have knowledge of differential equations. A differential equation is just when we have a function, in this case y of t, which is defined recursively in terms of itself and its derivative. And from this description our goal is to find out what is y in a closed form. Similarly, with a recurrence relation, we have a function of a discrete variable, this time n, which is defined recursively. So instead of saying f of n is equal to some function, we say, for example, the n plus 1th term is equal to r times the nth term. So in differential equations, we looked at different classes of differential equations and different methods for solving them. This particular one is probably one of the first ones you may have encountered because it's pretty easy to guess the solution. Um, if this r were 1, we could easily see that the, sol the solution could be e to the t because e to the t is its own derivative. Um, in this case, we just have a slightly altered version of that. and, and if we want to confirm that this is the right answer, all we have to do is take the derivative of this. So look at dy dt. We see that this is just c r e to the r t by the chain rule, and that this is just r multiplied by the original function, and so it satisfies the differential equation dy dt is equal to r y. Um, so one method to solve this differential equation was guessing, but we also um, can develop a whole theory of methods to deal with uh, linear differential equations and we can use those to solve it using a characteristic equation. Uh, we can also solve this one using separation of variables. So the point is if we were going to map this differential equation on this Venn diagram, this would be all three of these different types. Of course, there's actually more ways to solve this. You can use the Laplace transform. You can actually convert it to a recurrence relation, solve the recurrence relation, and go back, which is one of the things that I'll be demonstrating later in this series. Um, similarly, with the recurrence relations, this one is actually guessable, and I'm going to show how we can guess the solution and prove it using induction in the next video. But this is also what is considered a linear recurrence relation and so we can solve it using very similar methods to the differential equations and we can also solve it using a method called uh, generating function. So this one also has a lot of different ways to solve it. Um, so in the next video I'm just going to show how we can guess the solution and then I'm going to come back to this example later and show how we can apply these other techniques. One of the things I want to point out here, one of the reasons I brought up differential equations is not just because the techniques for solving them are similar, but, um, well, there are a lot of parallels between the two. The, the solution to this recurrence relation, uh, I'll just tell you now and I'll prove it later, is f sub n is equal to c, an arbitrary constant, times r to the n. So the differential equation had a very similar solution to the recurrence relation. And actually, if you look at what this is saying, this differential equation here, we're just saying what when we when we pose this as a question, we're asking what functions are proportional to their derivatives. And the answer we get is all exponential functions. Here we're asking what functions are have a n plus one term that's proportional to the nth term. And the answer, again, is all exponential functions. This is a different way of saying all exponential functions. Uh, here we could consider our base of this exponential function to be e to the r. Here the base is just r. So we have really similar solutions, similar techniques. And um, for the rest of the series, I'm going to assume that you know a thing or two about differential equations.